know Papua New Guinea is a very fast-growing economy. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill boldly announced that the country's economy is seeing a turnaround. He stated that though naturally the country went through a period of setbacks after the droughts and the recent earthquakes, but according to Mr. O'Neill and his government, they're positive that the economy is getting back on track after seeing steady improvements. I'm very confident that Papua New Guinea over the next six months is going to expect a, a, a quite a large uh, interest and, and, and a large uh, spur in uh, economic activity in our country. Uh, it has not been easy. And uh, if I said it was easy, uh, I'll be uh, uh, not uh, informing the public uh, what is the, what's the actual facts. The facts are that before us. And, uh, our country has been resilient. We have survived uh, what has been a terrible challenge. Not many countries in the world uh, experience this and survive. They've got economic crisis. They go into recession, but we did not. We continue to maintain some level of growth. So uh, I think all in all, we've done well. ADB country economist Edward Faber provided some insight on the state of the country's economy, as well as what will drive further growth in the future. So we can say that, yes, PNG has shown resilience. We've come through some of the most difficult times, which were in 2015, and that uh, we are seeing some improvement due to better commodity prices in particular. Uh, and uh, better commodity prices are helping to lift growth, uh, improve the foreign exchange position, and also the revenue position of the government. Although risks also remain with commodity prices, as we know with the China-USA trade dispute. Leanne Gerari, National MTV News, Brisbane.